So let me tell you, to bring you into heaven. So I don't want to judge you because if you stand my judgment, you're going to forever die and perish in hell. So I'm going to take away your sin, all of your failure, because I'm a God of righteousness and justice, and I want to punish your sin. I don't want to punish you, man. I want to punish your sin. And I will take your sin and put it on myself. That's why Jesus is God who became a man and went on the cross and took the sin of the whole world of putting God to die for them. The death of Jesus on the cross was the justice of God against sin. Because God hates sin and God has to get rid of sin and burn sin. But God loves you so much that He raised Jesus from the grave and Jesus rose to eternal life for everyone. If you believe in Jesus and you make Him your Lord and Savior, even though you may die, the moment you receive His life, you will pass on death into we can see in the arms of Jesus forever. Because Jesus, when he rose from the dead, he ascended into heaven and he seated at the right hand of God of majesty. Jesus is sitting there preparing a way for you to come to him. Jesus is making a way in heaven for you today. And he made a way for you when he died on the cross. And Jesus is sitting down at the right hand of God. He's hoping for you someday to believe in him. Why not come to Jesus today? The Bible says if you believe in your heart that God has raised Jesus Christ from the dead and you confess with your mouth that He is your Lord and Savior, you will be saved. Because the Bible says it is with the heart that one believes unto righteousness and with the mouth that confession is made unto salvation. You see, friends, the heart of the man is who that man is. The heart of the man is the center of the man's life. Jesus said, I'm out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. The man will speak only what is in his heart. Solomon says in the book of Proverbs that as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. You don't think with your head yet, but you can use your head to think that all of the thoughts come from your heart. The whole world as you see today, all of the world was created from the ambition and the, uh, the ambition and the, the life of men that proceeded from the heart. The heart is the center of man's life. That's why when Jesus said, except a man be born again, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. What Jesus was saying is that a man has to be born in his heart. The heart of a man has to change. Because you see, friends, once you change a man's heart, everything around that man changes. Once you change a man's heart, everything around that man changes. And that's why there's power in the blood of Jesus to wash away every sin, every failure, every imperfection that you've been through. When you receive Jesus in your heart, the love of God which comes through Jesus Jesus comes into your heart and changes you into a new person. You become a child of God. You become a new creature. You become a born again believer. Why? Because you love Jesus. And I tell you, one of these days, when the trumpets are sound, when the trumpets are sound, I tell you, friends, the dead in Christ shall rise from the grave. And we that are alive, the men on the earth, we shall be changed in the twinkle of an eye at the last trump. And if you believe in this, when your spirit is saved, it is an, an evidence that your body will be changed from the grave. And when you rise from the grave, you rise with immortality, you rise when you rise with incorruption, you rise with eternal life from the grave, and you will live in heaven forever. And heaven is the perfect place, friends. Heaven is a place of peace and love and joy. Heaven is a place of no death. There is no sickness, no sadness in heaven. Heaven is a beautiful place. And God is calling every human being today to put their trust in Jesus. I will not put my trust in a person who died and still in the grave. I will put my trust in Buddha. I will not put my trust in Mohammed. Well, I love Mohammed, yes, but I can't risk my life over Mohammed. I love Buddha so much, yes, but I cannot risk my eternity in the hands of Buddha. I love Krishna so much, I will not risk my eternity in the hands of Krishna. I will only put my trust in the one who died and rose from the grave. And that man is Jesus. Jesus is the only man in the history of humanity who died and rose from the grave. And if you put your trust in Jesus, even though you may die, you will rise again because the Spirit of God will live in you. Hallelujah. And I tell you today, if you're listening to this message today, friends, I just want to tell you that God is knocking at the door of your heart. 
And if all of you believe and confess Jesus as Lord and Savior, you will be saved. All you got to do is believe. And we're going to be here for a short moment of time, again, a short amount of time. And I want to tell you something, that if you've never heard about Jesus or you want to know about life after death, you want to know more about Jesus, we're here to answer every question. You don't have to be ashamed. You don't have to, have to be afraid. We're here to answer every question you may have about eternal life. Hallelujah. And if you come today and just to say, Jesus, I want to receive you in my heart as Lord and Savior, we're going to pray for you and pray with you. And when you are born again, you have eternity living in your heart. And come to Jesus today. And if you are ashamed to come here, if you are afraid to come here, you can pray anywhere in your house, anywhere in the world. All you can have to say from a sincere and honest heart that Jesus, I know I'm a sinner. Jesus, I know I've sinned against you. I believe you're my Lord and Savior. I believe you died on the cross to, for my sins and you rose again from the grave to give me eternal life. If you believe in Jesus and you say this word with an honest heart, my friend, I want to tell you, Jesus is going to come into your heart. Because Jesus sees the thoughts of your heart. Jesus knows everything that is happening in your heart. Jesus sees the thoughts of your mind. No one knows you the way Jesus knows you. you. You don't even know yourself the way Jesus knows you. Because Jesus is the God who created you. So he wants you to be saved and he's calling you today to him. All you have to do is to believe. Believe in the Lord Jesus. You will be saved. Hallelujah. God bless you, GC. We are still here. If you want to come up for any question, we are here to answer questions. God loves you. Have a blessed day. for the wonderful sermon slash message. And as you know, our message is always the same. It's about Jesus. Amen. It's about Jesus. Amen. Why did God send us His only begotten Son? Let's talk about that, shall we? Why did God send us His only begotten Son? Amen. Because He was the only way to make a way for us because there was no other way. Let me repeat that. Because He was the only way to make a way for us because there was no other way. We were trying to do things our way back in the past. Especially in the Old Testament. Amen? We were trying to do things our way and we failed. But see, we were trying to do things our way instead of doing it our way. And our way was not the way. Our way was not the way. It might have been one of the many ways that people made up to, uh, to receive eternal life. But what is the God that they worship? The God that they worship was worthless. None of their gods that they worship 
had the power and authority of Christ Jesus, the one true God. None of their gods that they worship has brought them out of anything in their lives that they were going through, except for them more further into the abyss. Amen. That's why God sent us His only begotten Son, because He's the only way that can make a way for us. There is no other way. Amen. Amen. And what does God think about you and your sins? What does He think about you and your sins? I'm going to answer that in a quick heartbeat. It is finished. The last words of Jesus our King when he was all in the air and was a tree. He bowed his head and said, It is finished. At the cross, Jesus said, It is finished. Everything was done at the cross. Everything was posted out at the cross. At the cross, Jesus has done everything for us to be called sons of God. God says we have, the, we have the right to be called sons of God. Amen. We have the right to be called sons of the Most High God. Amen. And you are a son of the Most High God. You are anointed. You are appointed. You do have a will in your life. But the one thing you have to do, you have to accept it. When you don't accept it, you condemn yourself and you ask yourself, why are these things happening to me? Why is my life in so much trouble? I have this, I have that. I have women, I have cars, I have money, I have wealth. But you know what? There's still something missing in your life. I don't care how much you have, there's always something missing because Jesus said, Without me, you are nothing. Without me, you are nothing. You know what? You know what the depth of those words mean? That means it doesn't matter what you have in this world. I don't care if you have power and I don't care if you have 25 cars. I don't care if you're the richest man in the world. You still have nothing because you don't have Jesus. And Jesus is the only one that can give you everything. Jesus is the only one that can give you everything. And I'm talking about everything you need to have eternal life with Christ Jesus. Forget about this world. This world is temporary. Your life is temporary. Your job is temporary. Your finances is temporary. But Jesus is permanent. I said Jesus is permanent. And where do you think Jesus is going to be when everything else on this earth is finished? He's going to be right there waiting for his church. He's going to be wrapping up his church. And that's a permanent thing. That is a permanent thing. So why worry about the things you have in this world? For the Bible says, what should it profit a man to gain the whole world yet lose his own soul? Amen. Do you want to be condemned along with the world? Or do you want to have eternal life with Christ Jesus? Make your decision today because he is the Lamb slain, the one slain for our sins so that we can be caught sons of God, so, we, so that we can be righteous, righteous. Am I right about it? Amen. And one thing I don't want you to do, people, one thing I don't want you to do, I don't want you to face the condemnation of this wicked nation through God's proclamation that we are all in dire salvation and this world is coming to a dire eradication because you refuse the salvation to walk with Jesus and receive his justification and he'll take you with him to his heavenly nation. Am I right about it? Am I right about it? Yeah, who's next month?